Now to developing news. The Bay State is one step closer to legalizing sports betting. This decision coming early this morning by state lawmakers. Western Mass News reporter Paris Dunford joining us live now to break down the bill. Paris. Mary, both the Senate and the House finally agreed on this compromise bill around 5 a.m. It passed the House, then the Senate by 9 this morning. Now the legislation heads to the governor's desk for her signature. In the early morning hours on Monday, the Massachusetts Senate and House agreed on a way to legalize sports betting in the Bay State. Governor Baker is expected to sign the bill that passed the House and Senate Monday morning. It's something that's going to bring the Commonwealth much needed revenue, I think, especially with these uncertain economic times. One of the biggest debates during negotiations was whether to include college sports in the gambling process. The decision came down to not allowing bets on Massachusetts college teams unless they are in the playoffs. So you cannot vote on in-state teams in the regular season, but you can if they make a championship run. We didn't exclude the collegiate betting, which I think would have had the impact of making folks continue to go to sister states. So I think it's a good thing. And now on to the governor's desk. Another major sticking point, the issue of taxes. The tax rate ended up being a compromise between the House and the Senate. The Senate wanted a higher number. The House wanted a lower number. The difference was kind of split right in the middle. The Senate and House met in the middle with a 20 percent tax on mobile bets and a 15 percent on retail. That tax is paid by the operator and not by the person placing the bets. Lawmakers also debated the issue of advertisements, and it was decided that a retailer like DraftKings could advertise during the games. Local casino MGM Springfield is already prepared to welcome sports betting with a state-of-the-art lounge. Western Mass News stopped by on Monday and received this statement from MGM Springfield's president and COO Chris Kelly, who says, quote, we are thrilled the state legislature reached an agreement to create a safe, regulated, and legalized sports betting environment for Bay State residents and look forward to Governor Baker signing the bill. This new industry will allow Massachusetts to repatriate the revenue and jobs currently being lost in neighboring states and the illegal betting market. We look forward to providing local sports fans an immersive, world-class sports watching and betting experience in our sports lounge, along with a VIP viewing area within TAP Sports Bar. And as for a launch date for sports betting in the state, that hasn't been determined. And the question still stands, will sports betting be allowed in restaurants and bars? We asked lawmakers that question, and we'll break down their answers for you tonight at 6. For now, reporting live in studio, Paris Dunford for Western Mass News.